Hello, I'm Derek from Ants in My Boots, and today we're going to meet a monster. Once I dreamt of chasing rainbows and lightning across the sky. We got one right here. And I found a grasshopper. This is perfect. This is a male, I believe. Now this is a brown one. You can see the Chinese mantid always retains this green stripe along the side. <laughs> Generally, it's only the males that can fly because they're so slim. Isn't he beautiful? So now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and catch a grasshopper for him. See if we can get him something to eat. <laughs> He's a little too skinny. Kind of like me for his own good. <laughs> hey, little buddy. I just barely cut this little grasshopper, or big grasshopper. So this guy might be a little too big for this mantis to handle. Uh, we're gonna try some, find something smaller if this doesn't work, but worth a shot. Yeah, I think that's definitely gonna be too big of a prey for this little guy. Darn it, we're gonna have to try and find something smaller. So, we found a little grasshopper this time. Oh, there's a squirrel. Found a little grasshopper this time, and hopefully, this guy will go for it. Now we're gonna agitate the grasshopper. Come on. <sighs> oh, shoot. Hey, come over here. This right here is an old egg sac for the praying mantis. This is a Chinese mantid egg sac as well. The other one looks a little bit different. It's a little bit flatter and longer. They lay their eggs at the end, right around fall. And the eggs, all the praying mantises die once winter comes. But the eggs stay alive, they're fine, they do okay. And in spring, all the little teeny mantids come out. And they're just like little miniature versions of the adults. And then they grow up to be fully grown mantids by the end of the year. Oh, there he goes. I found another little male. By where he was, we found this girl right here. So this praying mantis is not a Chinese mantid. <laughs> this is a local. So if you look closely, her wings are all beat up right there. That's because she got in a fight with another praying mantis and these praying mantises, they don't kill. They just grab on and just start eating. So right there, it just started chomping on her wings until she managed to scare it and get it off and get away. But she's, so her wings are beat up, but she's doing all right. And she's really, really, really fat. So I think she might be pregnant or she got a really big grasshopper. Or maybe she ate the praying mantis that was trying to eat her. <laughs> kind of cute though. Look at her. You can kind of see the difference. That green stripe there. That's not the, that's not the case with this species. With this species, if it was brown, it'd be fully brown. All right, well, let's try and see if we, we're gonna put this girl back and we're gonna see if we can find some food for this guy. She's really fat, so I don't know. Oh, dang it. Let's see if she's feeling a little bit more hungry. There we go. So she grabs it, she immobilizes it, she immediately goes in and just starts eating. They don't kill first, they just start eating their prey. It's kind of horrific and <laughs> absolutely frightening. This is a true monster. That is the praying mantis. Chasing rainbows and lightning across the sky. <laughs>